Hey guys, today is Saturday, August 23rd, 2014, and today I'm putting up pegboard in the wood shop. Now I struck a good deal. I went up to Lowe's this morning and I was looking for a sheet of pre-painted white pegboard, and unfortunately they only had one sheet. Um, so while the store guy, the store clerk was going to look to see if they had additional in stock somewhere, I got to talking to the man beside me. As it turns out, he lives right down the road from me. And uh, very nice fella. In, in lieu of me having to get the, uh, the uh, 4x8 sheet of plywood cut, or it's not plywood, it's pegboard, but in, in lieu of having Lowe's cut it um, at a two foot interval so that I could fit it into the back of my uh, sedan, the nice gentleman from up the street, he uh, offered to just let me throw it in the back of his truck, and as it turns out, it worked out well because I got two full sheets home. Um, unfortunately, only one of them is white pre-painted. The other one, I'll have to slap some paint on it myself, but that's no big deal. I'm okay with that. What I wanted to show you was I have a, um awkward wall. I've got my homemade uh, air filter system up on the wall over there, and it's very heavy. It came from an old blueprint machine, and it was really, really rough to get up where it is, and I really don't want to move it. Um, even though it's not being vented outside, it's just circulation and it, it filters out the micros and um, in any case it's extremely heavy and I don't have a second pair of hands right now to help me move it. So I am going to leave it on the wall and I'm going to cut the pegboard around it. And um, so I measured off and used a pencil to designate where I needed to cut and as it turns out I wanted to share with you guys you no know, projects are nice to share but this is important information too okay so I have I've marked the lines on where I need to cut the pegboard and as you can see I have a handsaw that is currently in there and what I found was let's see, let's see if I can show you this uh, where is it? Oh, okay, there it is. So, it goes through this thing like butter. And mind you, right now, I'm doing this one-handed, and I'm still able to just throw it right on through. And then, so, I cut two vertical strips on this section that I needed to cut out. And then it was simple enough to just bend it off, and it broke off where I wanted it. So as easy as this is gliding through it um, to cut out the locations where all of my electrical outlets are. As you can see, I've got a number of them. Um, I think a sheetrock knife will easily slide into one of the pre-cut holes and I'll be able to go right on down it and knock it out in no time. So I figured I owed it to you to show you how I did one of them. So I put this up against the wall and then I held up the actual face plate and could see where the circular pieces were and I ended up drawing us a, a pencil line around the entire plate and then I came in about a quarter of an inch or so because I'd like for the plate to actually sit on the pegboard and not fall through um, so then I came back with a half inch drill bit drilled myself a pilot hole which goes through really quick in fact so fast that I ended up um, poking into the uh, um, insulation that's behind this but essentially I just wiggle it in the hole and Uh, simply put pressure where I want, but and uh, break it off. That's all there is to it. Pegboard, very easy stuff to work with. It really surprised me that I thought I'd maybe have to break out the um, circular saw or something, but it seems to be a quite an easy task to underdo. Thanks for watching. Hope that helps somebody. Let me know if it does. Thanks. Bye.